What's up guys? So uh, this is a cool little different kind of uh, video today. Um, I was going through my Google Drive and came across a bunch of remodel pictures on a 1983 Duracraft 16 foot by 48 inch base wide John boat, 1648. And uh, I took a beat up $1,500 John boat and uh, converted it into a duck hunting flats fishing machine. So uh, I thought this would be a cool little video for you guys to check out. We're gonna go through basically a slideshow and I'm just gonna explain to you how I redid this thing. And if you have any questions, please do ask in the comments. I put a lot of time into this. I've probably left a lot of details out, but if there's anything you wanna know about this in particular, please feel free to leave a comment and I'll reach back out to you. But uh, check it out. This is gonna be, uh, again, the 1983 Duracraft John Boat Rebuild. Turn it into a flats boat. All right, so here's our project boat. We have removed the wooden floor, wooden seat in the middle, and starting the process of rebuilding this thing. First step of the process was just removing all of the junk and cleaning the hull up as best as possible with some good soapy water and inspecting the ribs for cracks, which we found quite a few. I then went through and marked all of the welds that needed to be fixed so that they were easily found by my welder. The next step was to weld on the beaver tail pods that we ordered for the boat and uh, these pods were a great addition. I have to say they add a lot of flotation to the rear of the boat uh, compensating for the weight of the motor. They allow you to plane off quicker and they make a great step for your dog getting in and out and people as well while you're duck hunting. Since I'm not personally a welder I had all this work redone by uh, Martin's Custom Structures. Phenomenal job and what I did for my part of this puzzle was went through and cut everything to size, measured it out, uh, and added all the bracing and everything I needed to add, and then had them go behind me and weld it all. So as you can see, I added longitudinal bracing from bow to stern, and uh, what this does is really make this boat a lot more rigid. It was a huge improvement for performance and flex of the hull, and it really strengthened this vessel. Originally, this boat just had a wooden seat across it, so we redid that and we added some structural integrity by adding the aluminum tubing to each side of the seat as well. To accommodate a bow mount trolling motor, what I did was I added this custom bracket that I built just out of a piece of aluminum angle and some wood, made sure everything was with good coating of marine grade paint, and then welded this onto the front of the boat. This was a very low cost, great way to mount a trolling motor on the front of this boat. The next step in the process was to wipe everything down with a vinegar water solution that acid etches the entire aluminum boat and allows for your primer to stick to it really well. I then covered it with a coat of olive drab primer in preparation for the camo paint job. After priming everything we installed the closed cell foam in between all of the floor bracing which helped really strengthen up the floor and take any flex out of it and also allow for a lot of flotation as well as fill in the void below the floor. The next step was to measure and cut all of the heavy duty aluminum sheet flooring. After adding some quick rattle can camo, we uh, cut out the pedestals and everything to mount the seats. Of course, the motor needed a rattle can paint job as, as well and uh, so we proceeded to give that a nice camo break up as well. Once we got the boat back and everything had been welded, we gave everything one more coat of primer, and then we proceeded to cover it with some tan Rust-Oleum bed liner. This was spray in from Rattle Can, and it took quite a few cans, but turned out looking really good in the end, and added a lot of texture uh, for anti-slip. One cool feature to note is I also added some cross beams under the seat which allowed me to mount an under seat tackle tray organizer as well. The final step in the build was to go through and rattle can everything. We just used cardboard templates cut out into the shape of marsh grass and overlaid them and sprayed them with four different colors of browns and greens to make up our camo breakup. And this is our finished product. Uh, seats installed, motors installed, and all the wiring with the uh, fish finder installed as well. I have to say this was probably one of the prettiest builds we've done here at the household and I was super impressed with how everything turned out and the performance of this boat before and after. It just made a huge difference on the way this thing rode and handled. This boat went from being a junky, run-down John boat to a flats fishing duck hunting machine.
Appreciate you tuning in. And if you like the content, make sure to hit that subscribe button and stay up to date on all the fishing adventures and crazy build outs and all the wild stuff we end up doing here at the Outdoor Movement.